What's up, y'all, man? It's AUD615 streaming live, aka Angel of Death. Gang, gang, g -g 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 gang, gang. You feel me? It's get with it or forget it type shit time. You feel me? Shoot. And right now, I'm listening to uh, Dr. Umar's latest uh, question. He's. I'm finna, I'm finna give my feedback on this question that, that's asked from this uh, LGBTQ uh, woman that's also uh, majoring in, uh, I don't know, she's majoring in something that got to do with child teaching children and stuff, you know. And she just asked the question if a child inside of her school asks a question that would, if they ask a question about is it normal what what do they view what is the teacher's views on on same sex if they got two mommies or two daddies that's together you know shit is that normal what what type of response would he give in a public school setting and he basically said he wouldn't entertain that thought i'm gonna I'm go and play people's children you feel me so if i know that child has they're only going to cut off Africa's money if they don't make gay marriages as legal because they're trying to get rid of us. There is a scientist that people who call it eugenics. Please look it up. N-U-G-E-N-I-C-S. Eugenics. The selective repopulation of white and the selective extermination of black people. Homosexuality is being funded by the government to reduce the numbers of black people in the world. Let me turn Just that like off. I need. For my young I want to make sure that, 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 that this is being nothing. heard. And I say, feminism was created by the FBI and the CIA to get women out the home so the government could indoctrinate the children through television and social media any way they felt. That's like. facts, and and Believe I'm gonna do I my say, research on that NHSM two hundred. I'm gonna read the whole seven hundred thing. Okay, I'm gonna I look at the uh -huh. So, as an education major, what if a kindergarten child has two moms and two dads? And that's what they're used to, and they ask that in the classroom. What would you do about that if that's what they're used if to? If they ask what in the classroom? Like, is this normal? My two moms and two dads. If I'm the teacher in a public school, yes. I would say I cannot entertain that. I, I wouldn't entertain that. Why, as a, why not? Because I'm in a public school, and in a public school funded by the U.S. government that has a pro-LGBTQ agenda, if I answer that from an African traditional cultural perspective, that it is not our way of life, I could lose my job. So you're saying as a African descended person, as a right. way of life, being gay or lesbian that's that ain't even what he said you, you see that shit to treat oh. same-sex relationships as a normal natural healthy way of family development you would have to show me a traditional african society that existed before the arrival of the enslaver and the colonizer that treated same-sex relationships as normal i can assure you you can't find a single one I'm no. okay you see that all right this part two i don't know my shit cut off so i'm gonna merge both of them later on in, in uh vlog and vlog star anyway because it's such a politically charged issue and the government is funding it that I think I would stay away from it anyway. You follow me? Now, if I'm in a community, I'm very careful with people's children. You feel me? So if I know that child has two fathers or two mothers, I'm not going there because although I disagree with the lifestyle, I don't want to upset that child's understanding of life so much that it could confuse them. You know, it's just like when people like to open up the Bible and show Christians all the inconsistencies in their religion. I wouldn't do that. You know why? Because for all I know, that Bible might be the only thing keeping her from going back to selling her body on the street. That Bible might be the only thing keeping her from shooting somebody in the head. That Quran might be the only thing that keeps her from taking his own life. You follow me? So whether or not I know something to be true or false, I still have to put it within context of where that person is in their psychological, emotional, and political development. I believe that there's no compulsion crazy, 
in African consciousness, just like there's no compulsion like in religion. Wrong, so that is to say, I would never try to force my sister here and, and say, listen, it, you it, find it's it's out on what, there's a million brothers waiting for you when you get up out here. I'm not gonna do that, you understand? That's where she is right now, and I might come back and see her 20 years later, and she might be happily married with five kids. I don't know. Or you might be married to a woman. Either way, I'm going to love you with my sister, because you're my sister, but we're going to agree to disagree on how family should be structured. Right. Yeah. Who is my number two? And guess what? And guess what? I'm still going to post your picture when you send it to me. Queen, give me your number two. She mad over there, boy. She hot over there. She hella hot, nigga. You can look at her. I'll be seeing in Jersey City on May the 25th or 6th. Look at these motherfuckers. They sitting in there with a different color, rainbow color shirts on and shit. You feel me? This is what's wrong. I don't understand why my shit keep doing this shit. Like, I don't, I don't get it, but I'm finna keep this up here. Anyway, this is part three. Um, so, Gal. Document published in 1974 by then Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. Form of relationship. Although they did that, they also said in their position paper that they were right. the FBI helped fund the LGBTQ movement as a population control strategy. Now, I'm going to give my personal thoughts on it. On what I just heard about this stuff and, 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 and how I felt the conversation went between him and his black sister that's, that's, that's uh, trying to be a teacher but she's lgbtq i feel like that as a teacher you shouldn't be bringing your your sexual preferences inside of this classroom or the school at all around children no shit at all the shouldn't that shouldn't be anywhere your your flag whatever you choose to be that stuff you need to keep that to yourself you they should have a certain dress code yeah you shouldn't even be in class speaking to these children and if a child feel like they want to come out the closet and stuff that ain't up for that ain't up to you to 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 handle that you feel me that's up to the parents to handle that now if a child is being raised in a same sex household now me personally I'm going to speak from my side of the fence because on the side of the field I'm not gay I, I'm I'm fully motherfucking straight but my sister, my mama, they 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 fuck with the, they 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 dance on the they dance on the wild side. You feel me? That's that's what they that's what it's basically called. Um, I also have another uh family member, and she's like that. To to the best of my knowledge, ain't no men in my family that I know of that's like it. You know, at least the ones that I don't been associated with and know of. But anyway. So, take my sister's case, for instance. She chose to be in a same-sex relationship when her daughter was born. She got pregnant by a guy that was, that his father was married to my mother at the time, and he was our, he was our, you know, in-law, brother-in-law. So, my sister got pregnant by him. Boom, boom, had the child, had my niece, um, didn't wanna, didn't wanna, um, didn't wanna let, uh, didn't wanna let, um, didn't wanna let the, let him, you know, be in, in, in his daughter's life at all. Didn't let him come to the hospital. Dude came to the hospital, begged me to come inside the room. I kept him out the room. Was like, no, nah, she wasn't, she wasn't on that. She wasn't having that. And he came up there with his girlfriend at the time that he was with. So, and my sister was dating a girl named Jo Jovan back then, and she was fucking with a girl named Jojo. Long story short, years later now, ten plus years, almost ten years later, shoot, you know, the dude he ain't, she still ain't never seen her. So she's only child. My niece is only child, and she's been forcibly raised in a home that same set, a same sex home, you know, household. And my sister even got married behind our family back with the girl that she with now 
and she ditched Jovan, which was shoot it to it to she was she was a good she was a good fit. She was the one that was perfect to be with. You know, she cared about my niece and shit, and she did everything, you know, like she should. Never smoked around my knee, all this shit. My sister, my sister started fucking with this other chick. She was smoking around her. You know, my niece come back. She smelling like cigarette smoke, weed, smoke, all this other fucking bullshit. So my sister chose to fuck with a gal that was motherfucking, you know, that was on the other shit. Instead of her fucking with the straight and narrow when she, not, not straight like that, but you know what I mean. You know, she had kept her nose clean and shit. Even stopped smoking and all this shit. Did everything that she had to do to for for her daughter for for you know I had to raise her to raise my niece. I was against saying I'm against same sex raising child in the same sex home. But this girl made me think. You know what? Maybe it ain't no bad thing. You know she motherfucking she doing everything right. She changed us. She 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 sacrificed. She's sacrificing a lot. And I and I'm personal. I'm seeing that she's sacrificing a lot. And my sister just took advantage of that shit. But anyway, long story short, the one she with now, she got the one that she chose to cheat on the girl with, the good girl with, to be with the bad, thugged out, thuggish type chick. She ended up marrying her. And they've been together for I don't know how long now. But, you know, shoot, my niece is about nine years old, probably ten now, almost. And, you know, she been she she been raised around that shit. You feel me? <laughs> now, me looking on the outside in, and she's been taking her to gay parades and all that shit too, taking my niece to gay parades and shit too, which in gay parades, they let motherfucking gay, they let the gay people, they let gay people walk around butt ass naked. I mean, full naked, full nakedness in front of everybody. Why would you take your child to some shit like that? <laughs> you feel me? She, my niece, come back. I've been to the gay parade. She's showing me, she's showing me uh videos and stuff. So I'm like, man, you know, one day me and my sister got into it. We ain't spoke since Christmas. You feel me? She just had a, she just had one of her uncles pass away. My mama texted me and wanted me to come, asking if I was gonna come to the funeral. I ain't say shit, cause in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, hell, man. She tried to motherfucking, she tried, she tried to act like she was. On some trying to check me for motherfucking music shit and this and that and the third when your ass been displaying all the wrong shit in front of your in, in front of your daughter's ass is way worse than me motherfucking talking about pussy and, and fucking bitches on the song <laughs> and shit way worse but instead you get congratulated you get embraced for for your decision and shit it's okay that you that you per that you on you purposely keeping your motherfucking she yo your daughter got your daughter probably got your daughter got brothers and sisters on the other side from her father and shit, but your ass don't want her to have no relationship with them. You keep her ass away from that shit. That's wrong. That's wrong in the motherfucker. But you got the audacity to motherfucking open your mouth and try and motherfucking judge me on some shit. Nigga, you gay. Last time I checked, motherfucker, shit. If you want to go personal and get there and go there, nigga, shit. Last time I checked, y'all motherfuckers was deemed as nutballs in the world. <laughs> in the world of motherfucking nutballs, y'all was deemed nutballs in the medical field. Last time I checked, nigga, being a straight motherfucker ain't never been deemed medically motherfucking nutballish. <laughs> shit. So everything your ass done done and, and the stuff that you've done, you can't motherfucker, you can't you can't even motherfucking open your mouth and say shit when all oh, year I've been trying to get us to do shit together and I done em tried to embrace your y'all yo your side of the fence and y'all people and shit and the culture that you wanna be a part of on that side of the fence. I tried to embrace you because you my motherfucking sister, but you wouldn't let me. So shit, since y'all seen it, I same thing with my brother. He fuck with white motherfuckers. I tried to embrace the shit, but y'all won't fucking let me embrace y'all motherfuckers in the choice that y'all choose the motherfucking on the shit that y'all choose to fuck with. So you know what, nigga? Y'all don't get to judge me, nigga, because I can motherfucking destroy y'all with it, all the bullshit that y'all motherfuckers doing. Y'all losing an argument against me on some shit. Y'all ain't got enough ammo to motherfucking gun me down with motherfucking any words that y'all think y'all can come at me with. I can pick your ass apart. 
with truths and facts. Some shit that you can't do with me, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no shit y'all y'all can't do that with me. It's different. The shit you done done, the shit you are doing is way worse. So at the end of the day, my relationship with my brother and sister is motherfucking tarnished and destroyed now. I'm not going to try to motherfucking fix it or mend it because I'm tired of all these years being told by anybody. The woman I was with. Be the bigger person. Try and fix it. For fucking what? I didn't make motherfucker psychologists and motherfuckers with they, they, they got degrees up under their belt. They'll sit back and tell your ass that nigga, it's not up to me to do that shit because I'm not the one that motherfucking burnt the bridge. I'm not the one that came out with a torch and a motherfucking fire and a motherfucking stick and a motherfucking end of the sticks with ripped off cloth soaked in motherfucking lantern oil. Motherfucking goddamn it set ablaze and in and, 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 and the bridge and the bridge that bind us motherfucker they poured the gasoline on it they carried that torch they lit that motherfucker and they put the fire on that bitch not me I didn't do that shit they did so guess what y'all niggas got what the fuck y'all want y'all can have y'all family vacation together I'm not gonna be a part of this shit Whatever fucking shit y'all want to do, cool. You feel me? If y'all feel like I don't want, y'all feel like I don't need to be a part of y'all kids' life, I'm cool with that shit too. I don't give a fuck no more, nigga. I don't care.